morning sisters. Greetings from wet and wintry southern Australia. It's too wet even for ducks outside today. Now this is going to be a very simple and basic introduction just on how to use your phone to take uh, simple bits of film. I just have an old iPhone. Uh, first thing is to always hold it in landscape orientation um, so that you get this sort of picture. If you hold it upright in portrait um, like they do for selfies then it's going to look like this and have the big black strips down the side which makes it a lot harder to use. The second thing is to try and keep it as still as possible so you hold it two hands or you can buy one of these cheap little tripods. I have stacks of them they cost uh, about $1.99 I have them in my car, my bags, uh, take them in my pocket when I go for a walk and it just eliminates that camera shake. The other thing you can do is just pop your phone onto the ground and hold it steady. Um, mine's always full of sand for some reason. And another really nifty way is just to grab a, a matchbox and just cut uh, two little slits out of the side. Again I have these everywhere and you can just pop your phone in and put it back together and it's really really stable and again it eliminates that camera shake now you can also buy a monopod or they call them selfie sticks these days and that gets you in closer to things and allows you to get different angles and is good for moving too I chase duck around a lot with a, a monopod and just for interest sake, you can also buy uh, a set of three little lenses, again from eBay, they cost about $6 and you, they just, they're magnetic um, and just pop them on your phone. So uh, the first one is a wide angle lens and then you screw off part of that and you get a macro lens which is the one that I use a lot. Um, take a lot of, if I'm out walking and I come across an orchid or something, get right in close and the quality of it's amazing. And then the other one that comes in that set, I think about six ninety eight, is a, uh, a fisheye lens. Now the next big question is what do I film? And of course the good thing is that we all live in so many different places. So it's all about everyday life. It's what you see out of your front window, it's, it's what you have in your home. Sometimes it's just a different way of looking at the same old things. I walk past the jetty every day, but there's heaps of different ways that I can film it. I like just to put my phone down, get it nice and stable, press record and see what happens. And you'll be amazed at the things that show up or how it looks through the eye of a camera all the things that we just take for granted every day. Often it's just about filming simple things and seeing them from a different perspective. And then of course there's all these filters and things that we can use afterwards just to change how things look. You can take a simple thing like a feather on the ground and it completely changes it when, when you put it into black and white. It gives it a whole different feel can speed up, slow down, put different filters on. So scenes, <laughs> looking in the fire last night, slow it down, put a little filter on it. I love the idea of city scenes with traffic and people and you know, transactions and markets and things like that because that's something I don't have access to very often. And when I go to the city, that's the sort of thing that I film. I put my camera down on the footpath and get feet going past and things like that. So it's the simple everyday things that hold the magic and we can all do that. So get filming!